Good morning and welcome to another great week. Anxious to see what God has in store for us this week. It was awesome to be together last Sabbath as we uh, were able to meet together for the first time in a long time. Um, there's still a lot of people who are not comfortable with that and, and that's fine. We're just wanting to grow together, to learn together, more than uh, than dealing with uh, requirements and expectations and all of that, I just want to put Jesus deeper inside of each one of you. I want him to live in me and in you and through us. So we continue our parables uh, this week. And uh, the one today really follows along quite closely with uh, the last one that we looked at, which was about the children coming to him and, and us needing to have childlike faith as we embrace Jesus. But now there is a rich young ruler who comes to Jesus. And he, like the Pharisee that we looked at a couple of devotionals ago, he is quite pleased with himself. Uh, just good teacher, Jesus said, why are you calling me good? Do you really understand who I am and, and what is really good? Good teacher, what, what do I have to do to make sure that I have eternal life? And Jesus says, well, what, you know, what does the good book say? What does the law say? You know the commandments. Don't commit adultery. Don't murder. Don't steal. Don't lie. Honor your mother and your father? The Pharisee says, yeah. The, the, the young ruler, yeah. I've, I've done all of that since I was, uh, as far back as I can remember. I've done all of these things. Anything else? Jesus said, well, there's one thing that I think you would need to do. This is not necessarily for everyone, but there's one thing that you need to do. You need to take everything that you have and give it away. You need to take all of your riches and you need to give them to the poor. Then you will have treasure in heaven. He couldn't believe his ears. Master, I've, I've done all the things that the law requires. The law, the law doesn't require me to do this. Where is this coming from? Jesus says, oh, the law does require this. The law requires that you empty yourself of self, that you surrender yourself to me. And you, my friend, you're trusting in your own goodness, and your own goodness will never be good enough. But if you will give up your goodness the things that you are comfortable with, the things that you are trusting in, the things that you are proud of, if you will surrender all of that and come to me, you will have treasure in heaven that you can't even imagine. And he looked at the young man with sorrowful eyes as the young man turned around not walking quite as proudly and tall as when he came to Jesus and he walked away. Oh, this is a hard thing, his disciples said. Those who were listening said, this is a hard thing. Who can be saved? Well, Jesus says, I tell you the truth. Unless you come to me broken, unless you're willing to leave your home and family and all of your good deeds at the altar, you won't have it. But if you will come to me, I will never turn you away. I will never cast you out. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. My friends, it's not about the 28 fundamentals. It's about the one fundamental, and that is Jesus. Do you know him today? God bless you.